imitating nature to boost innovation. That's what researchers here in Linz are doing. This lizard is the focus of all their attention. Its skin has exceptional properties when it comes to transporting liquids. Originating from desert areas of North America, these horned lizards need just the slightest drop of water to survive. Nature has optimized a clever system that allows them to collect the drops of dew or rain that fall on their backs, a mechanism of the greatest interest for these researchers. The lizards we are studying here have a microstructure on the skin that allows them to get the liquid very quickly between the scales of the skin. And between the scales in the skin we have a capillary system, a channel system, that transports the liquid very quickly and passively towards the head of the animals where they can absorb and drink the liquid from the channel system with the corners of their mouths. In addition to lizards, scientists are also interested in flat bugs from the rainforests of South America. A powerful electron microscope allows a three-dimensional model of the animal's surface to appear at nanometer scale. We discovered that with insects and bugs, even smaller microstructures are responsible for the transport of defense secretions in a certain body direction. The defense secretion glands lie under the wings. The defense secretion produced is transported via the microstructures to the wing attachment points up here, where it evaporates and stinks and fends off possible predators. In Crete, near Heraklion, the Fourth Institute is also involved in this European project. These scientists specialize in laser technologies. Their objective is to reproduce on artificial materials the models brought to light by the biologists. They use short pulse lasers, enabling work on a very small scale. When your material is soaked with a laser beam, it is forced to change the structure. You can fabricate uh, let's say three-dimensional structures. Their scale, the resolution, can extend from several microns, so imagine that your hair is, let's say, 100 microns, up to tens of nanometers. You can see here an area that it is patterned at specific locations with specific structures, hydrophilic or hydrophobic. This combination of patterns can drive the liquid to specific direction with the highest possible efficiency. In particular, tests are carried out on steel. Among the applications envisaged, the manufacture of innovative micro-mechanical parts, whose friction and therefore wear and tear would be reduced. So we have micro-mechanical components. We have two surfaces that are con in contact with each other with the lubricant then we can efficiently reduce the friction of this between these surfaces by adding a patterning surface structures with a specific geometry uh, by patterning on those surfaces. Many other directions of research are planned for these biomimetic surfaces, from collecting water efficiently in case of drought to applications in the biomedical field.